In This Week in Military History, we explore the Battle of Chancellorsville, which occurred from April 30th through May 6, 1863. The Union Army, led by General Joseph Hooker, was attempting to push forward to Richmond, the capital of the Confederacy. Confederate General Robert E. Lee was defending both Chancellorsville and nearby Fredericksburg from the Union advance, but only had half as many soldiers. Despite his superiority in numbers, General Hooker chose to fight a defensive battle. The sagging morale of the Union troops may have contributed to this decision. On May 3rd, Confederate General Lee reinforced Confederate Major General Jubal Early, who was on his left near Maury's Heights. Other tactical maneuvers were made by General Lee to position Confederate troops to the best advantage at Chancellorsville and nearby Fredericksburg. During the multi-day battle at Chancellorsville, Confederate General Stonewall Jackson was mortally wounded by friendly fire on May 2nd and died on May 10th. His death was mourned by his men and the Confederacy at large. Lee's superb tactical analysis and determined units forced General Hooker and the Union Army to retire across the Rappahannock River in defeat on May 5, 1863. Lee, emboldened by the victory and the poor morale of the Union troops, mounted his second invasion of the North in June 1863. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.